Hey guys, welcome to another video. I've decided to put this video together to help out people who may be struggling with XPath and basically how it's used to scrape the web and how it can help you to automate or necessarily speed up uh, scraping specific information from the web. So I've tried using XPath with Google Sheets and a few other methods and I found it quite slow and cumbersome. And in today's video, we're going to harness the amazing power of uh, XPath and we're going to combine it with Screaming Frog to help us extract information from various web pages. So before we start, we're going to quickly run uh, down what plugins you need to assist you with this particular um, maneuver and also what tools you need to have. So let's quickly jump onto my screen share. You will need this uh, Google Chrome plugin installed, which is called Relative XPath Helper. And this will help you in identifying XPath um, commands. Uh, so what we'll do is basically scour the HTML of, of a page and help you basically identify and translate this HTML into XPath commands that you can use for Screaming Frog. And the other thing that you will need is a paid version of Screaming Frog or a licensed version. So you can create a custom extraction that will enable you to take out or scrape any HTML that you require. So before we start, this will only work on a website that has the exact same structure. So a perfect example would be an e-commerce product where the exact same structure is used across the same website. So we're going to use Amazon. And in this case, we're going to use the plugin and we're going to identify information that we want to scrape. And this will be the exact same format for the various product pages on the website. And you can also use this to basically scrape any website as long as the, the H, sorry, the HTML structure is the same, you'll be able to scrape similar information. And this is very useful and very time-saving rather than doing it manually. So let's say we want to scrape the product title um, just to save time. So what we can do is we're gonna use the plugin, which is already here. It's already set up. We're gonna click it and we're gonna right click what we want. And in this case, I'm also going to move my little screen here, hit this drop down. So then all of this information can be here. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click. And as you can see, the right click, it collected all of this information in the red box. You can also uh, right click other information to get two elements. So in this case, I only want to get the page title from this page at this moment in time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the X path here. We're gonna copy it. Now we're gonna open up Screaming Frog. And with Screaming Frog, we're going to go onto mode. So it's on list. So that basically means that we're gonna have a, a custom URL that we're gonna include, which I'll take you through in just a moment. We're gonna go into configure and create the custom extraction. So we're gonna extraction, we're gonna hit add, we're going to copy what we copied from that um, initial plugin. So let's just go back to highlight what I'm copying. So we're copying this information here, highlighted in blue. All we've done is now we're going back to Screaming Frog. The only one thing I will quickly note is this span has to be in all lower cases. Otherwise, this will not work. So essentially what we're telling, um, what we've done is we've uh, pulled together the HTML along with a XPath command and it's going to tell Google, I mean, sorry, not Google, I'm screaming frog to pull ID equals product title from specific page. We're gonna hit okay. So now what we're gonna do is we'll do this manually. We'll go back to the page here. We'll copy across this URL copy, we'll go upload, enter manually, we'll copy it across here, we'll go back, we'll go onto a second 
product saying we haven't pulled anything here at this stage we don't need you since they use the same format and all we're going to do is we're just going to copy said url here copy it go back hit enter go here I'm going to go hit next it's going to crawl using our custom extraction which we'll get to in just a sec in this tab so it just crawled it it's giving us the statuses of the url which is fine this is more for seo and web dev but we're going to go here for just a sec go to custom extraction and as we can see it's pulled through the title of both products from both urls so the logitech one that we just had and also the asa aspire product title so if we go back sorry if we go back here for just a moment I'm going to say I only pulled originally the command, um, not, not command, I originally created the XPath from this page, but considering both products are using essentially the same HTML structure, I was able to pull this product title as well. So now let's go to a different one. Let's just say if we want to pull whether a specific product is in stock or not. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new command. So we're going to go here. Go left click and we've created a separate XPath here, the span. So all we're going to copy is this section here. We're not going to copy the text in stock bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy it. We're going to create, you've guessed it, a new extraction using these two URLs. So now we're going to get the product title and now whether the product is in stock. So now we're going to go back to mode. I mean, sorry, configuration. Oh, uh, let's see if this is going to work. Maybe it's not going to work. I might have to redo this um, or restart the program just to make it easier. So I'll close it. It's fine. I'll reopen Screaming Frog. Just give me a moment. And essentially what we're going to do is now we're going to pull the product and whether it's in stock information from both URLs. So now we're going to go back, we're going to go mode, we're going to go to list. So that just means we're manually importing URLs. We're going to go to configure, we're going to go to extraction. So now we're going to create the original one that we did. So we're going to go here, copy the product title, copy it. Remember that span as lowercase. Also, if you want, you can also rename this extraction into whatever you like. So you can call it page title. Amazon, for example, for Amazon. Now we can go create additional extraction in stock so now we know that's going to be the one for in stock and we're going to go back sorry we're going to go here we're going to copy the second xpath command except we're going to remove this part of the text we're not going to copy that across we're just going to copy essentially all of this here you may need to do trial and error depending on what custom command you want go here Fan. Gonna go okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload enter manually both of those Amazon URLs just to make it easier. We're gonna copy across this one here. Bang. Gonna go back. Gonna copy across the next ASAR one, which is here. Copy this URL over. Copy it. Enter. Next. Now it's just going to run, it's going to hit the custom extraction tab. And now what we're going to see is you're going to see, oh, there it is, pay title, Amazon, there it is, and whether it's in stock or not. So this is a much faster method than essentially, in my mind, using Google Sheets, because we do encounter quite a few problems 
from time to time. And I think that using Screaming Frog is a much faster method. So I hope that you guys have got a lot of value out of this video. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll try and help you guys where I can. This is a fast method. And I think it's especially a very good time saver. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.